Something my subscribers might not know about me is that before I got into RC stuff, I used to design and build longboards. Sometime my senior year in high school, I found some thick scrap plywood and I thought it'd be a cool idea to cut out a pintail shape and then put trucks on it. I didn't expect to do anything serious with it, but I ended up carving a really cool looking board out of it. Almost four years earlier, at the age of 14, I worked at Rainbow Fin Company manufacturing surfboard fins. And the owner is really cool and he helped me to cover the longboard with fiberglass. For my second board, I glued strips of bamboo and coconut husk together, which I also got from Rainbow Fin, and I used my car to press them together. This is basically making my own plywood in the shape that I wanted, and after some more shaping, I also covered that in fiberglass. For my third board, I purchased some 1 16th inch maple and birch veneers from Canada, and I pressed those together in my uncle's shed using a totally different type of mold that I came up with. After almost four years, this board is still my daily driver. I absolutely love the geometry. It's low, planted, firm, yet smooth, and carves like a go-kart. Then Carly wanted a board, and so I helped her make one with more maple plies pressed in a mold under a bunch of sandbags. Then I got a vacuum bag, and I made this little one as a birthday gift for a little kid I used to babysit. And then I made and sold this one to my roommate's friend at cost. It had similar geometry to my green one, and I tried out an idea I had to use plexiglass as a bumper kind of thing. I only test rode this once, but it rode really, really well. You probably also didn't know I'm into aluminum casting, and I cast myself a custom hanger for this crazy idea I had. Anyway, I was taking a CNC machining class last spring. I really love computer-aided design and manufacturing, and I thought, how can I use this technology to help me make longboards more precisely, repeatedly, and autonomously? So here's the process I came up with. I designed this board in Rhino, and then I 3D printed a miniature version of it so I could feel in real life how the curves and the proportions feel, as well as the stiffness of the geometry. It's also freaking cute. And I decided to make the actual board one half scale to save on machine time and raw materials, making the experimental process a little bit easier. And then use the board's curves to make a mold. I put that mold into Fusion 360 as a step file and I generated some tool paths to machine the shape out of a block of material. The first setup is an adaptive clearing operation with a half inch flat end mill where it takes the bulk of the material away. The second is a parallel operation with a half inch ball end mill to smooth everything out to final dimension. Now that my mold is made, I then put glue on five pieces of 1 16th inch maple veneers and I put that on top of the mold. And then slid the whole thing in the vacuum bag and vacuumed everything tight. It changes the geometry of the hanger. And then after more than 24 hours, I pulled it out. I then put the 3D model of the board on top of the 3D model of the mold, and I generated a tool path to cut the board out of the wood. And for some reason, I totally forgot that I need to cut out the drop through holes before the rest of the board. I sanded the edges down, gave it a finish, and put grip tape on it. I thought this one half scale board needs some one half scale trucks. So I found this model online and machined it out of a block of aluminum. I thought it'd be super cute to machine the rest of the trucks too and turn some tiny wheels on a lathe and fit these bearings and shaft that I have, but I didn't have time to do that. The thing about making longboards is that it's kind of hard to do the first one, but after you have the design and the mold made, it's super easy to just keep making them and mass producing them. But I've never made more than one of the same design. Anyways, I hope that was interesting and thanks for watching.